Hi, so I thought today I would talk about uh, accountability. Since in the personalized learning program we're starting here, um, student accountability is going to be one of the most important things. Um, how to make sure students are doing everything that they need to do and how to ensure that um, everything is getting properly documented. So um, here's a few things that uh, we're doing in our gen. Um, one the sticker charts behind me on the wall, at first I thought they were a little bit, right, um, elementary, uh, very fourth grade, but um, we've really bought into them and it has been incredibly helpful. Uh, with, my, with our program here, students are afforded a certain amount of freedom throughout the school. Um, they have access to several places. We have, um, we have two classrooms that they can work in. Um, they have access to the student cafeteria, to the commons, uh, to the library, and they're allowed off-campus lunch. Um, each week, I set specific deadlines for their coursework. Um, they have to be through X percentage, or they have to complete this assignment, or they have to be up to this unit. Um, and that's all within the target of making sure that the course is done by graduation, um, or by the end of the semester, if you will. Um, once they complete a unit, um, several things happen. If it's a class on online with a digital curriculum, Edgenuity, uh, they'll come to me, say they've reviewed all the material, they're ready for the exam, or whatever the next step is, I'll go online, check it, take the test, tell me they've finished the unit, um, and then they can update the sticker chart. We've got several throughout the room, we'll take pictures of later. Uh, and then they'll see, they'll post their percentage. I am 8% done with the class, I'm 15% done with the class, et cetera, et cetera. And that's useful for tracking how far they are. And for students who are struggling, they can see that so-and-so has gotten to 15% in the class and they're stuck at 10%. And uh, they can ask that person for help, uh, and that's nice. Secondly, it allows me to control uh, their freedom. It's earned, right, the freedom. Uh, is earned the first couple of weeks they had a taste of it they were allowed I gave them access to all of the places that uh, they hadn't had access to before right they had freedom to be in multiple classrooms to be in the library holding meetings or working in the commons on their own whatever they needed to do going off campus for lunch with their friends um, now this week uh, this week we said you had to be to a certain percentage otherwise all of those freedoms with the exception of uh, you know obviously water and washroom and the school cafeteria um, were sort of the only things that were left to them if they hadn't met the deadlines. Um, so students are tracking it. I'm okaying it. If it's a blended class, uh, a student will have gone through the content, I'll have lectured it, they'll have watched a video, read an article, um, and then we'll meet with uh, how they're going to present that information to me, the analysis they're going to go through, I can ensure their understanding of both the content and test some of their skills um, in different areas, uh, and then we update the charts from there. So that way the students know that they have all of these things to take care of. Uh, we start every single day in here, uh, they take out their schedules and they take a look at what they accomplished yesterday, what's got, what's got to get moved over from the to-do list for today, and they begin to triage, they begin to prioritize. They, um, they put in all their other things, their work schedule, uh, sports activities, and they begin to look forward to the end of the week where they have these deadlines. Just like you would in a normal job, in a normal day, uh, all the things that have to be done, all the meetings they have to take, so on and so forth. So uh, getting them organized is important. This is the, um, the sticker chart, the tracking wall tracker for our first two weeks. And I think with only a couple of minor exceptions, uh, it's 100% complete, something like 98% complete, which is outstanding. Um, first week of wall trackers has been a success. Accountability uh, is high. 
um, it won't work necessarily if I have to go and double check everything. Is so and so really this far? Did they just sticker the chart? Clearly as the teacher in the room, I have to go through and make sure that, that these are, and, and I do that from time to time. Um, if I haven't seen this student necessarily in the classroom for a while, I'll check their online grades, I'll check where they are in their other classes as compared to the wall trackers, check in with their team leads for the RGEN program, and you know, sure enough, they just happen to do their work really well, not in this classroom. So uh, I don't necessarily see them, but they're getting things accomplished. Um, but it's getting all the things in line to make sure that that's all set. So uh, that's sort of accountability video number one, laying the groundwork. Uh, if you have more questions, let me know. And uh, more to come soon. Thank you.